Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the TUI interface of Zen Protocol Wallet. The TUI is a text-based user interface and let's start using it. So Let's go to the Zen Protocol website and press install alpha since I've already downloaded the installer and installed we will check where it's installed so Zen installs under CU on Windows on under C users Zen app data local Zen wallet in order to run the TUI interface we will start it using a command prompt so open a command prompt as admin Yes. There you go. Navigate to C users. Your username. App data. Local. Zen wallet. Okay, now in order to run the Zen as TUI, we will use some switches. So, in order to check which, which switches you have, you will type zen.exe-help. Okay, headless mode runs without the GUI. Minus T runs the TUI and uh, several more options we will go through later. So let's wipe the old database and let's run this Zen as a local network. Just verify something. I will use those two JSON files in order to run the Zen as a local host in order to have some tests and show you. So the first one I will use as the host. And I will wipe the old database and we'll use the network as LAN host and let's enable the miner. And of course, the dash T for the TUI. Okay, this is the basic text interface of the TUI. Those are all the available, available options. And down here you will see all the commands and the outputs of the wallet. So, in order to start the host, I will press connect. And of course, I also can start the GUI if I want, but not for that we came for. Right, we are back on the local machine since the VMware was a bit freaked out since the that configuration. So let's rerun the host again, TUI, and connect. And as you see, it's online on my local host. Now oh, let's switch to the client 
and run the client as a miner and connect the client and now the client synced and handshaked with the host okay yep we need to add the genesis in order to ask for the Genesis UTX OK. OK, as we see, it's inside the wall right now. OK, so the basic functions that you can do. My wallet your transactions and amount <clears throat> the send dialog let's send some zens from the host to you can see this one is the host to the client And let's see some of the blocks after we transfer. Get the receive address on the client, press tab, scroll down, and copy the address. <coughs> Fine, let's go back to the host, and here open the send dialog and just paste ok new transaction since we opened the client as a miner he will mine for himself. Let's go back and open the miner menu. See it's enabled. Let's make it less difficult. Apply. Now we should see that the transaction will be validated. What else you can do? You could do through the world to we You can stop. You can reset the blockchain or the wallet database. As we see, you have the minor menu and the blockchain menu where we edit the Genesis block. Let's open the miner here also. Okay. The block has mined. So you can, after you have some blocks, you can 
do some graph. Open the graph and as you see, you can see all the transactions in the blockchain. It opens via the web browser. Thanks for watching.